Hello, we are now with activity 1.7, which deals with power efficiency. So let's look at the activity. An amplifier with an input impedance of 100 kilo ohms, an output circuit voltage gain of 10 to the 4, an output impedance of 2 ohms, is used to amplify a signal of 1 millivolts produced by a signal source with negligible impedance. The low impedance is 8 ohms. The amplifier is powered by a positive power supply of 15 volts, the current of 1 amp, and a negative power supply of minus 15 volts, a current of 0.5 amps. And we are asked to find the input power, the output power, the supply power, the power dissipated, and the efficiency of the amplifier. Okay? So the first thing that we should uh, think about is that all active devices, all devices capable of amplification, in order to do that amplification, they need to have power supply to them. Okay? And this is supplied by power supplies. So you have a DC power supply that supplies the power <coughs> to the internal circuitry of the amplifiers. So let's start um, with our model and let, let's put a power source and then let's do the analysis. So we have an input impedance here, RI, voltage control voltage source, output impedance, this is the open circuit voltage gain, or the output voltage here. is a scaled version of the input voltage that we sense over here. We have now our amplifier model, which we need to connect to a load, RL, and to a source, VS, where we are told that the input impedance of that source is negligible, so it's zero. So we are not going to have loading at the input. Okay. So, so far we have been looking at this model of the amplifier, and we assume that this voltage control voltage source is able to amplify the input, it's an ideal voltage control voltage source, but in order to do that op operation, if A is going to be greater um, than one, you need power for that, and so we could model that as mm, well. You need to have a power supply somewhere. I'm going to put a box here. Up. This is my power supply, and that power supply is going to supply some current, actually some power, right? So I'm going to put here a voltage source. I'm going to put here another voltage source. So I'm going to say this is the BAA is 15 volts, and this is VBB, which is minus 15 volts. We have this current IA equals to 1 amp. And this one, IP, 0.5 amps. Okay, let's plug in the rest of the numbers and let's do the analysis. Input impedance, uh, 100 kilo ohms. Output impedance, 2 ohms. RL, 8 ohms. Okay. Before doing the analysis, though, let's let's develop some some equations. The power in this circuit, the power of the input from this source, plus the power of the supply, this is our power supply, must be equal, right, to the power of the output and the power dissipated. 
So here you have a fundamental equation. Right? And so, well, let's think about what is the power supply. The power supply also, the power that we supply is equal to voltage times current, right? So it is VAA times the current plus V V V times the current through that source. Right? This is just we have a positive and a negative voltage DC voltage source. Okay, so with this, I think that we have everything to actually solve the problem. Oh, we need to define also power efficiency. So how, how do you think that we should define power efficiency? Well, good definition is going to be that, or somehow it's going to be related to how much output power we get as a function of how much power you supply in, right? From the source and you express this as a percentage. So that's a definition for the efficiency. So with that input power, output power, supply power and power dissipated and efficiency of the amplifier. So let's start uh, doing some analysis. What is the input power? Power by the input. Well, the power of the input is easy enough to calculate, right? Power is either defined voltage times current or voltage squared divided by resistance. So we have the voltage, the source voltage squared divided by the resistance. And the resistance in this case, because Rs is zero, is going to be Ri in this network here, right? And so what do we have? Uh, we were told that this was a one millivolt, one millivolt. So we have a 10 times, 10 to the minus three square divided by 100 times 10 to the three and so we are at what 10 pico watts so that's the input power by right there let's look at now the output power or actually let's do the supply power to see what is the power provided by the supply we have two voltage sources each one providing a um, current right So this is going to be VAA times IA plus VBB times IB. The voltage is 15 volts. Times one amp plus 15 volts times 0 0.5 amps. Right? 15 plus 7.5, this is 22.5 watts. Okay. So we got the input power and the supply power. Let's go over the and calculate the output power. The power of the output is equal to well, this is the output voltage, and so it is the output voltage squared divided by the output um, resistance that we have there, which is RL, this network. And so we have, we have to calculate the output voltage. So to do that, 
we have a voltage divider we know the voltage at assuming that this is ground we know the, the voltage at this node here right and so we're going to do RL RL plus R out times AV times VI square divided by RL which is 8 ohms so this is equal to 8 divided by 2 plus 8 times the gain that we are dealing with is 10 to the 4 10 to the 4th times the input 10 to the minus 3 1 millivolts divided by 8 and this is equal mm, 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 mm. so 8 divided by 10 10 to the 4 minus 10 we have 8 watts and so with that the efficiency we can calculate it as a watts in the output divided by 22.5 watts supply times 100%. So 8 divided by 22.5, that's approximately 35, but 35.6% efficiency. So I think we got it. Input. 10 picowatts, supply 22.5, output 8, and efficiency. Now, 